this is an old um, newspaper, as you can see. Um, June the 26th, 1997. June the 26th, the master teacher's birthday. That we have a um, various um, ceremonies. One that was called um, El Mogaraj. You can perhaps see some pyramids here where we built these um, pyramids in Georgia, um, Putnam, Putnam County. And this land was, um, you know, stolen, stolen from us, and the pyramids demolished along with all the, our other monuments. And that was during the during the time when. Malachi Z. York, Atom Ray was um, kidnapped. And this is a, a little bit of showing the statues that we had. And what's interesting about these statues that we we were not we were never idol worshippers you know that these beings actually existed they were real beings for instance um Osi osiris ra sebek hator hator's um or hator is quite quite interesting her symbol is this um crescent here which is also symbolic of the um cow horns and the cow is worshipped as a deity by millions of millions of Hindus if you will they to them the cow is is is, is, is sacred it's a sacred animal and millions of Hindus where well, they won't eat the cow and the cows are allowed to roam and do exactly what they want that shows you the influence of the Tamarians or the Egyptians um, God's God system on um, on Hinduism so these beings exist existed Anubis Horus Tefnut and these names are really just bastardized names what I mean by that is that it's English isn't it so we're giving the English names for these beings because you wouldn't know who I was talking about if I used other more original names for these beings here. Just shows you a little bit about the land. If I open it up quickly. And that's the resurrection of Osiris procession. That I was honoured to actually be here myself to participate in to participate in the ceremonies. It was a beautiful experience. You know, one of these experiences that you treasure forever. And all and all that, you know, have been there would definitely testify the same thing. And these are some of the elements. Um, fire wind, earth, water and I know that um, Alan automatically he relate what, what I know what he automatically relates these these elements to because if you go into um, Chinese systems Chinese Kung Fu systems once again they talk about the elements of um, certain forms body movements correspond to certain elements so it's very interesting, but also on a, on, on a different level, these, these elements were symbolic of certain gods who had um, control over those elements. So those elements were symbolic of those gods and the gods were also symbolic of those elements, like fire, water, earth, wind, etc.
And also, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but you have something called a double helix generating from the pyramids. Because pyramids, the actual shape of a pyramid, it actually um, shows that there's energy emanating from, from, from the tip, or sorry, um, the capstone. Under certain conditions, you can actually see the energy shooting up from, from, from the earth through the pyramids because the pyramids conduct energy up into the atmosphere, up into space. You know, some of the interesting things about pyramids is that if you put fruit in pyramids, the fruit stays fresher. If you put things like razor blades, um, sharp objects in pyramids, they stay sharper. So, you know, if you actually um, spent time in a pyramid shape or constructed a pyramid shape yourself, you too would also um, attract that energy, that kind of healing energy. Because if it, if it keeps um, organic material fresher, and the human body is obviously organic um, in its composition, it could also help with certain ailments and certain illnesses just by spending half an hour or hour within a pyramid shaped um, construct. Yeah, so this is just a little talk about, about us here as well. And this is gonna bring back a lot of memories to a lot of Nuwapians. Obviously this paper's out of print, so it's, no, it's no longer available. You might be able to get some copies on eBay, or if you know of any brothers or sisters who have these newspapers, you can probably get a copy of it. It's very interesting, there's a lot of information in here. And it's very relevant as well, very relevant information. I'll quickly look for something that's of interest. Like this was saying here, who built the pyramids in the middle of Georgia? The pyramids were built for the purpose of making a connection with our spiritual elders through meditation. The Neteru, called in the Bibles angels and Elohim, Theos in Greek and Angelos in Latin, are the spiritual guardians of humanity in these trying times. You know, that's obviously going into a certain, you know, spiritual... Um, spiritual journey there so the ceremony one of the ceremonies was called um, El Mugaraj so in the El Mugaraj what we did we used to say salutations um, we used to say prayers as we actually did a circle um, around the pyramid and, and once we got to each point of the pyramid you know we'd stop we'd face the pyramid and we'd say a salutation Salutations are prayers, if you will, but prayer, prayers in our own image and in our own likeness, connecting us to our ancestors, to our ancestral forces, which is very important in this day and time. So I'd just like to conclude that, um, that topic and thank you once again for listening. Yeah, I'd just like to add a little bit, we were talking about the, the four elements and as you can see around us here, there's clearly four certain elements around us here. There's the water over here, as you can see that's the element of water. There's the element also of fire here and there's also the element of earth and also around us there's the other element of wind if you will so these four elements are, are around us and these four elements they're also inside of the human body because once again um, I remind you that the body is 70 to 75 percent water in in the body there's combustion um, that takes place and if you look at what the word combustion means there's a certain ignition that takes place when um, for instance when we're breaking down um, 
foods into um, complex carbohydrates and there's actually a burning that, t that actually takes place. So there's burning that takes place within the nucleus of, of human DNA as well. And obviously we breathe in, we breathe air in, um, and the elements of the dirt, because if you look at the dirt, actually, if you look at this dirt here, you'll find that there's actually organic material in here. You know, you find there's um, bits of tree bark, there's leaves in here, there's um, dead insects, there's probably dead mammals as well that have in here that actually fertilize the earth, that fertilize it. And these are the exact same molecules that you find inside the human body. So these four elements that we were talking about, they are in the human body as well as outside of the human body. So I was just drawing a correlation, um, a correlation to that. Thank you very much for listening. And also, um, as Alan knows and, and we know, there's martial arts um, forms that incorporate um, various elements within them where a particular shape it corresponds to a particular element like water, um, metal for instance which is one that I didn't talk about because I was talking about yeah. the four four elements yeah the four elements yeah because right uh, because as well in, in, in Kung Fu what our elements are in Kung Fu is, uh, is basically water is to do with like the bladder or anything to do with the bladder sort of department um, liver is usually the wood element yes. of it. Uh, fire is the heart, yes. um, and then you got metal, which is the lungs. Mm -hmm. That's corresponding to the lungs, and then um, so you got wood, water, fire, earth, metal. But yeah, and then um, earth is the stomach, mm -hmm. which is to do with the dirt that uh, Mr. Swords just a minute ago was picking up and um, demonstrating. With earth is to do with the stomach, which obviously the earth absorbs all these elements. You see the fire, the wood grows through the earth, so that's why it breaks with the earth. The, the, the earth creates the metal, you know what I'm saying? The water is observed by the earth, X, Y, and Z. So basically all these elements in Gong Fu and all these elements in Swords uh, Nuwabian teaching are all related to even African history. It's true, and those are only four elements. And all, on the periodic table, they are, they are obviously um, 99, if you will, plus there's clearly unknown elements as well, which um, scientists, you know, will discover in due course. Thank you very much. Peace. To get a tripod.